ROM COLLECTOR Today we'll be going over how to read disk from any region and how to copy disk so you can turn them into a digital file so you can use them in the USB loader alright here we go let's get started Okay, we're gonna use an app. Let me show you them now. All the apps are available at the um, at the where at the homebrew browser. You just gotta go to the homebrew browser. I'll show you. Yeah, my uh, my Wii that I'm using right now, that I always use, is a European Wii. So a lot of times, the disc that I get, I can't really play them, so it won't read them. It act like the disc is bad or something. But um, you can just simply download a couple, uh, one app to play the um, any region disc, and then and then there's a burner app where you can use. And I'll show you guys right now. As long as you have the homebrew browser, you can do this. Okay. It's going to be under utilities. Oh, look, the USB loader GX has a has an update. And you can always check the apps that you have. The homebrew browser, they actually have a lot of um, updates a lot of times, so it's pretty cool. All right, let me see. Let it finish. Oh, look, shorter loading times on the. Oh, that's cool. Alright, but the app that I was going to show you guys, it's, um, okay, let's keep going down. This app right there is called Clean Rip. Okay, that's going to, you can copy GameCube and we, and we disk. Alright. The one that you need to play any region. Oh, look, Nintendo has an update too. Um, the one that any region it will be. Uh, where's it coming up? I think. I think it's that I know. Where is it? Where is it? Did I pass it? No, I don't think so. Nice, no, right here. It's Gecko, Gecko. Ah, this one right here. Basically, lets you uh, play any region disc. All right, I have a disc in the Wii right now. It's uh, the one that I'm gonna copy. But let me update my um, Nintendo real quick. Before I forget to do this one day, yeah, that's coming up. There we go. Yeah, Nintendo is just uh, what lets you play GameCube games on any Wii. Basically, it doesn't even because some of the Wiis don't have the connections for the controllers, but you can still use um, you can use the. Um, gamepad controller that connects to the Wii controller that I use all the time to uh, play the GameCube games but alright we're back here so you can see I got the gecko so we're gonna load it up I'm gonna show you how to use it we're gonna load it you're gonna put your disc in you're gonna try to you know play the disc on the home screen and it's gonna tell you oh it doesn't read it so basically what he's gonna do is sim pretty simple you come over here you just, just launch game it's gonna start spinning the disc in the Wii 
And next thing you know, you'll say this stuff, a bunch of little numbers and stuff come up. And then, bam, you're back to the, the you know, like a regular disc. It's, I, I can hear the disc spinning in the Wii, so. Regular. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, it's just dance. I have a couple of them, so I'm kind of a lot of people. A lot of people like this game. I'm not into dancing games, but the weeds that I do, so some people ask me for this game all the time. Man, my controller's annoying right now. This thing doesn't aim right. Can go anything. It's a junker. Let me see. Let me get out of here. There we go. Yeah. So when you exit, it'll go back to the home screen. It won't go back to the homebrew channel. As you can see there, what the disc would be. I try to play it. It says unable to read disc. So, and you can tell you have a European Wii or Japanese Wii. When you go to your settings. And the last letter. On um, United States one, it should be a U. European is a E, and I believe Japan is a J. So yeah, I have a European one. Got it for really cheap because they they thought it was broken. But since in Europe, I guess the um, the TVs are different. All I had to do was buy the component cables, and that's it, pretty much. Now you see it now or or use the HDMI adapter that I'm using now to be able to use it on the Elgato. All right, the burning app. I'll show you now. Where is it? Mm, I pass it. Oh, it's in the beginning. Yeah, there you go. Clean rip. So basically, you're going to um, you can't use a USB stick or a flash drive. I will use what I'm using now a USB micro SD adapter. USB, you know. So basically, I'm using a 8 gig micro SD inside an adapter that goes into the USB in the back of the Wii. So once you get that, you're going to have to format it to NTFS you cannot format it to FAT32 or anything else or EXFAT it has to be NTFS and I'll show you here so it's gonna tell you this you're gonna continue press A then it's, uh, it's yes but no it don't matter so it's gonna ask you here, wh which are you, where are you gonna copy it to? You always gonna copy it to USB. It's kind of impossible to do it in the, in the front SD, but so USB. Then here we go, NTFS. That's the file we we formatted the eight gig stick that I put in the back. And then we're going to put A, it's going to check it. It's going to say one NFTS volume mounted, so it recognizes it. We 20. So now it's going to ask me, okay, insert the disk, GameCube or Wii. You're going to insert the disk. It's going to read the disk. And then over here, you're going to do dual layer, no, uh, chunk size, max. 
and new device per chunk I'm gonna put no okay then all you gotta do is press A uh, it doesn't matter this this option over here is put no and then here goes this the part that takes long I'm gonna uh, um, edit the video in this part over here to advance forward but a couple things couple things you got to mention is that um once you finish once this finishes um copying into the micro SD you're basically going to have a ISO file it's going to have a ISO file with the main game that's going to be probably like 3 gigs 2 gigs what whatever the game is and there's going to be another small file i believe it's another ISO file but it's gonna be like a one, one, um, not even a megabyte. It's very super small. Yeah, I think it's a gigabyte, one gigabyte or two gigabytes. That one you don't really gotta worry about. But once you have the ISO file on a game on a GameCube game, it'll be fine. You can use you can use the act actual file on the USB loader without doing nothing to it but if you're doing a Wii game you have to format the ISO into a WBFS file so you'll be able to use it in the USB loader all you have to do is uh, get the app that I have it's called uh, Wii Backup Manager once you have the Wii Backup Manager you load it up. You gonna that basically Wii Backup Manager just converts ISO files into WBFS, basically Wii games uh, and and the USB loader. So once you have have some ISO files that you copy, like we're doing here, all you have to do is download the Backup Manager home. The Wii Backup Manager. Yeah, let me look for it. I have it in my computer. Uh, where is it? Okay. Yeah. Yes, Wii Backup Manager. I have. So once you have that, you load it up. You're gonna. You can look on YouTube. There's a bunch of videos how to use the. Um, how to use the program and. There's a bunch of links where you can download it from. You just gotta make sure you look at your computer if you have a 32, um, I think it's called bit setting or, or a 64 bit setting. But after that, it's pretty much easy. You just get the files, you convert them into WBFS, you make your WBFS folder called WBFS and then you can stick all your WBFS files in there whatever games you can either name you can either uh, label them as uh, the name and just the uh, code for the game because that's one thing the the Wii Backup Manager does it'll grab the file and it'll and it'll convert into a WBFS file with its game tag on it. So when you put it in the Wii and the USB loader, it knows what game it is. You can name it whatever you want, but but it's gonna be um, it's gonna is unique uh, game code name. All right, guys. So I'll let this thing be, and then I'll come back. And we'll we'll see how easy it is. Okay, seems like we're almost done here. All right, there you go, ninety nine percent. Not that you always want to use a micro SD or a regular SD with an adapter other than a flash drive because sometimes the flash drives are a little slow they're mostly for carrying information but 
it's just it depends what you mean by you can buy expensive ones you know they're fast but but you can just go with the micro SD option or the SD option and with an adapter and they work perfect because they're pretty fast all the time they have to be fast all right so now once you get here it said it took 60 minutes so you're gonna press A you want to dump another disk uh, you put no so B let's get out of here so basically I'll just go back to the you go back to the homebrew channel where you can do more stuff over here you know but um, alright guys thanks for watching if you can give me a like comment subscribe share thanks again